Nonsense from blind gents that cannot sense truth. Even if they use objects to go past tense like a time machine or a historical literature, try to fiddle with the truth, try to hit you with the ooh, and fabricate, greatly exaggerate, and simultaneously elaborate on a false definition of masculinity, paralleling it with divinity like the trinity, that's bogus, hocus pocus. Stay focused, don't choke here, take this notice. Yes, I wrote this and recorded it so you can play later. So stay composed as I spit out these prose, kid. Uniformed in essay form, like essays uniformed in dicky uniform. And converse, this verse is so you can converse about being a true believer. No gimmicks, this ain't a converse. Pay attention, please, as I rebuke to your face your humanistic tendencies. Your self-centered mentality trains to believe that your strains to believe that humanity is in itself deity. While your colleagues cannot see beyond natural scientific philosophies giving homage to trees and fleas, please. These so-called educated cannot dare to formulate my God's majesty. Formal and upscale strategies to mask their blasphemies, hypothesis with apostrophes. A quote from Socrates is pretty much his the only proof of his existence. The only idea I love from y'all is y'all persistence. Determination to disprove creation, self-embellished revelation to the generation. But guess what? It all stops here. So you thought just a human hand wrote it, but from Genesis to Revelation, he gave us a revelation that's still relevant, relating to every nation. I'm part of his people, God's family. We are immortal. Call us the um forever nation. Because of sin, we were separated, segregated. Now we set apart for him, call it spiritual consecration. Through his prophets, he related it, not through his word. It's foolish, but if you get it, it's because he illuminated it. Many people hated it. Others even rated it. I ain't gonna fight with you, dog. It was from my heart he catered it from Moses to Saul, Rachel to Paul the written history of our people affecting us all especially the climax is clearer than IMAX Christ lifted off the curse of death which is heavier than my max the beauty of his continuity can revive a community like that this right here you can't write that